My name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my autobiographical series, My Life in Not So Much a Nutshell, but More of a Melon Rind, and this is from the second of those four books. In August of 2010, Mike and I were going to take another trip to Niagara Falls. This time we were going to go with Nikki. Since it was the three of us, we got a hotel room and made it a weekend thing. On the first day, Nikki and I stayed at the motel room when Mike went to see Rachel. We got Mighty Taco for dinner and hung out until Mike came home. That night, Mike asked if I had ever tried psilocybin mushrooms. I hadn't. He called up his friend who brought us an eighth of the fungus. Mike and I split it. Within the hour, we were enjoying the trip and Nikki was enjoying watching us. It was great. Nikki put on some colorful music videos on my laptop and we watched it for a while. Eventually, Mike had an idea. We should go check out the falls, he said. They light them up at night. Okay, but I'm driving, Nikki said. Well, obviously, I replied jokingly. When we got to the Seneca Niagara Casino's parking lot, we got out of the car. We walked down the path to the falls, with Mike and I looking at the colorful casino the whole time. When we arrived at the viewing area on the American side, Nikki, who was sober, almost fell over the barrier. The falls were lit up with an array of colors. It was beautiful. The next day, we checked out of the motel and grabbed lunch again at Mighty Taco. Nikki fell in love with Loganberry soda. Should we go to the Buffalo Zoo before we head home? Mike asked. Yeah, Nikki and I replied enthusiastically. The zoo was very impressive. The Gemsbach and Lowland Mountain Gorillas were some of my favorites. But the polar bear exhibit was spectacular. Four large yellowish-white bears with a large pool to swim in. We left the zoo a few hours later and rode back to the southern tier of New York.